Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Gru. Today on Gru, we got a very, very special guest, and he does TikToks and modeling, and he does a lot of weightlifting and fitness, and it's going to be really fun to, to talk to him today. Peter Twet, Twetin, Twetin, I think it is. I'll, I'll ask him what his, his last name is when he comes in. But I'm really looking forward to talking to Peter tonight, and that will be coming up next. Okay, all right. Um, hey, but thanks for coming on at Gru. And, and of course, thank you for having me so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, bud. Thank you. Appreciate it. The, I see you do a lot of shoots. Um, yeah. So what what shoot has been your like most 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 fun or a, a shoot that you love most over others? Yeah. Um, so definitely, I I have done a lot, and uh, I think my favorite one was when I was with all my guys. Uh, we were in a gym in New Jersey, and it was this big fitness gym. Everybody there was just way bigger than us. We felt so out of place. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> with our mentality, we acted like we were the top dogs and stuff. And so we go over to this corner. The lighting was amazing. And we just shot like those photos. And um, uh, it was just me, Kyle Culver, Chris Wilson. And we all did a shoot. And I was just like, dang, like, I feel like, that was that was that was my original uh kind of after that shoot I felt like I belonged in this like kind of world so I was just like nice. that was definitely that was definitely an amazing experience. Oh man, nice, nice. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And and like uh at it at it all like you've you've done quite a few shoots and like which which town do you think would 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 you say that you had the most the most fun being at because uh, I, I mean i know these shoots probably they they take take you all over the world so yeah. is there like any special place that you you like the most Dang, that's hard um <laughs> i mean you know i'm in love with arizona my best friends live out there um i went to la a few times la is amazing um I think, I think just the the general like vibe in LA for shooting is amazing because it's just like, it's so, it's so like meant to be there because like everybody does it and it's just like, you mm. you don't feel out of place at all doing it. You just feel so comfortable. So, um, LA is amazing and I mean, Scottsdale, Arizona. I think that one hits closest to home. Oh, definitely nice. because that's just that's the views there are just beautiful and all my friends live out there so that's definitely that's that one's the closest to heart oh nice man so yeah. where do you where do you live at now are are you in california no so right now i'm actually in uh washington dc washington oh, okay DC. nice yeah nice yeah yeah right outside of it sweet man so like when when you actually take a trip there to Cal to California, like how how is it like there? Because like Los Angeles is such a different uh, a different experience than like any other city. <laughs> right, that's so true. That's so true. <laughs> um, I would say the first time I went out there, it was just like it was definitely it was definitely a change in setting. <laughs> yeah. um, between the people, the the whole, the general vibe of the city, and just the the work ethic was uh, incredible in in the field that I'm in, and mm. so it's just like when I went out there for the first time, it was just like wow, I'm so like tiny, like from where <laughs> I'm from, it's so tiny compared <laughs> to like whoa, I I step foot in this building, it's just like whoa, people. <laughs> everywhere <laughs> it's just like whoa big buildings everywhere and it's just like i mean it's it's beautiful it's amazing i always felt like i was kind of 
I was kind of born for like the city life. And then I went out there and I was just like, city life's crazy. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, LA, it's, it's a big difference. It was a big change for me. Oh yeah, I'm sure about that. <laughs> and, um, so I I saw you you have a really big following on the tick tick TikTok. Like your your yeah. page is like huge. <laughs> yeah, so, it's it's, uh, it's not where I want it to be yet, but <laughs> gotta keep going. But thank you. Yeah. So like, what made you want to join this this app because the like a lot of of young uh, got young young guys and girls like they they join there and and it it does good for them <laughs> yeah yeah it's true so what made me join um of course there was like those leading ups of just like wow like this person's like getting famous fast like that right, seems so right. cool and it's just like what the like when I when I first joined Charlie D'Amelio was only at three hundred thousand followers. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, I I like watched her blow up. I wasn't actually posting TikToks, but I like watched several people, including her, mainly her because she has like the biggest following, of course, on TikTok. But yeah, exactly. Watched a lot of people just almost overnight, just like become like their dream. Their dreams just. <laughs> flourished overnight and I was just like wait this is my dream why don't I just try this out and then what really pushed it was I was at a friend's birthday party and this girl I'd never met before in my life just comes up to me and she's like hey do you do TikTok and I was just like no and she was like you have the face for it start and I was like okay <laughs> <laughs> okay that's a good enough push for me I'll do it <laughs> wow so that's 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 the thing that made you want to join app then yeah and it's just like it's just like uh, of course there was the also push like if i did this like i could pursue my real dreams of being like an actor and model Mm -hmm. um but it's just like yeah i guess the real big push was some girl at a random party just was like hey join tiktok i was like all right let's do it sweet sweet nice (laughs) yeah it was fun (laughs) and like what do you like most about doing the videos for for the app for TikTok? Um, you know, what I like most about it is probably just like how you really can change, you can change somebody's day, somebody's week, mm-hmm. somebody's month in just one video. And by, you know, posting motivational TikToks or like TikToks, I remember, I remember when I was, before I started TikTok, I saw TikToks that made me like, not jealous, but made me like motivated to do more things. So I feel like me posting about like model shoots or like Mm -hmm. weightlifting, I feel like it'll, it'll kind of like motivate people to come out of their shell with their dreams that are like deep inside of them and just, just to make it happen. So like, that's kind of, that's kind of what makes me happiest and most motivated to make TikToks. Nice man, nice. Yeah. And out of out of all the ones you've done, like all the vids you've you've done and stuff, what which one do you like the best or one you had the most most fun doing? So I've had a lot of fun making all of them. Oh um, yeah, I'm sure. But but <laughs> this there's two. So this is going to sound bogus that I'm saying this because it's my most viewed video, but it really was the most fun making it because I came, I was coming, I was driving home from the beach with my friends and I was just like, yo, I see, I'm scrolling on TikTok. I see all these creators singing and their fr- their friends reacting to it. A lot of them were really staged. So yeah. I, I was literally just like, I was, to my friends, I was just like, yo, you guys should react to me singing. I'm going to just videotape it and act like you guys don't know. <laughs> and, um, and so of course that part was staged but their reaction wasn't staged it was just like it was a I, I didn't tell them what to react like yeah yes. so my friend my friend Michael I'm like singing this song and I I, I do sing I love singing it's, it's, nice. it's amazing to me. and so my friend Michael he goes 
when I started singing, he was, it seems so real. <laughs> he goes, what the? That was so good. <laughs> and he just screams it. <laughs> and that one, that one blew up. Um, <laughs> and then the other one was when I was in uh, Orlando with a few of my TikTok friends. And I was just like, this this video is trending where it was um you get all your friends to act like you and videotape it okay, and that yeah. one i did with a lot of my tiktok friends and it was hilarious what they came up with and that was a lot of fun sweet nice yeah yeah <laughs> but but the first one was really funny <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> what is there any like trend that that you like like doing the most because you know how, how TikTok has all those different trends and dances and yeah. all that stuff. Like, is there one that that you 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 like the most or one you want to try that you haven't tried? One I like the most was oh, <laughs> no, I gotta think about this for a second. That's that's a good question. Um, <laughs> there are so many. Oh, I know. Oh, <laughs> I do know one. When um, <laughs> this video actually got taken down, I have no <laughs> idea why. It was nothing bad about it, but there was a trend. So I have a glass of water here, right? There was yeah. a trend where you would put a, a uh, you know, those paper towels, like the 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 paper towel rolls. You would like oh. get the the brown part of it and stick it in the water and suck it all up. And I just like did that, and I. It's like it hurts so bad, but it was so funny. I was so dumb. <laughs> it was amazing. It was so fun. I love that trend. Like, why? Why would they take something like that down? Like, you weren't. I don't know. People are so creative. In their yeah, like exactly. Like the, I, the whole... Some people just must be so bored and just like, hey, I wonder how like fast I can drink water. If it is it faster if I put this this paper towel roll on it. <laughs> <laughs> like, where did you come up with that? But it's it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> yeah, like they they really come up with with some like really really cool trends. Like, yeah, crazy uh, things. Every like time I look on the app, type things. <laughs> <laughs> but they're amazing. <laughs> and who, like, out of out of all the the the, the people on the app, like the stars, because I. I know you could do something where like you're side by side with a star, like the star would dance or sing yeah. and say something and you do something with them. Like, is there any, anyone you would, you would love to do a, a like video with? Yeah. Um, in person or through virtual? Um, I guess personally in person. Yeah. Uh, so somebody that I would like to collaborate a lot with is, Noah Beck. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Noah Beck, because everybody that I know has met, that has met him, and a lot of people on the, I don't know why, but a lot of people on the app think I look like him. I look nothing like him. <laughs> but <laughs> and my co my comments are filled with him and Jacob Elody. And it's just oh, like, okay. I, yeah, okay. I don't see any of it, but okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, Noah Beck, the dude's an amazing guy um he's he's very inspirational towards smaller creators like me and so i think that is just like i would love to collaborate with him because all my friends were like peter you and him would get along so well and make an iconic duo and i was like all right dm noah beck right now <laughs> let's collaborate bro <laughs> hey and you know if 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 you have fans that are saying you look look like noah like if you do a video with 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 noah yeah. probably the fans aren't gonna know which one's you and which one's him <laughs> <laughs> if they didn't i mean that would be spectacular dude's a stud <laughs> <laughs> and uh i saw some of his like videos like he's he's pretty jacked yeah yeah, he's a good-looking dude. 
<laughs> Very good looking dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. I understand why he was he was he was the biggest he was like the most trending guy on the app for about mm -hmm. a solid five months. So I understand that. <laughs> 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 What do you, why do you think like a, a lot of young artists like start blowing up when they come on the app? Like there's, there's like, there's like a ton of like young artists that, that just came, came on the app and they, they yeah. got huge just, just, just from the app. I mean, TikTok right now, I believe is one of the top like advertising uh apps out there just because it's free it's free to download i mean yeah there's i i think i can say billions of people on it now oh yeah i'm and sure so it's just like it's just like you literally can just put out a song make a creative video post it on tiktok or you can use your song as your own sound and make a video and just post it and if it's good it'll show up on the for you page and it'll blow up so i just think if there are any young artists out there that are mm -hmm. like trying to get their music out it's it's a very very smart investment of time to do it on tiktok oh definitely yeah 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 definitely and um <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and like for for any young young artist, like 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 you were talking about, that's that's just starting out and stuff. Like, out, what would you say to them on what they can do to get a lot of views or followers or stuff like that on TikTok? Yeah. So there's 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 a few ways. Um, you can try to like build up a fan base before you tell them that you're an artist and before you release your music or you can do it immediately and just be insanely creative with one or two videos because i mean of course you're gonna get more views as a known creator oh yeah and so that'll that'll help you as you originally put it out or if you just literally have zero followers and you want to like do it like that it's not going to happen unless you actually put time into that video. Like you yes. need to realize, make that video look spectacular and you'll, you'll, you'll be given like a, it'll be a flip flop. You'll be given for time. You'll get views back. So, I mean, if you, if you're going to go on TikTok and advertise your music, definitely either try to build up a following before you do mm -hmm. or do it right away and do it well yeah that's what i gotta say to all the artists out there that uh that want to start advertising their music on tiktok nice nice and like you, you said to you know they have to make the the vi the video look like really well made like well done how how long does it take you to make a video edit it and all that stuff so um i'd say for some of my videos it has taken a lot of takes mm -hmm. uh, for some it's ranged from like one to two but for the majority it's around you know uh, i'm not gonna put out terrible content like in a, if i'm gonna if i'm messing up in a video i'm not gonna put it out there so it's just like I'm going to try to make my video look good for my followers. And so I'd say time range, uh, it takes me about – this is going to sound bad. It probably takes me about 15 minutes to shoot a 15-second video. <laughs> okay, okay. Time to 15 minutes to shoot a 15-second video, yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, because, I mean, even though, like, when you post – when you post stuff on there on the app on on, on TikTok, like the the videos are only a minute long, thirty seconds long, but yeah. it, you know it, it takes a while to make the video look good. One hundred percent, it does, it does, it does. Especially if you're doing it with a camera, that takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Like an actual camera, but 
if you're doing it with your phone, it takes a lot less time. But if you're trying to make the quality amazing, uh, that takes that takes a while. Okay. And I saw one of the shoots you did was was with one of your friends. Like you were in, I think it was a, a red car or something like that. Joseph, Joseph Ben. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. That yeah. was it. So how was, was like, yeah. <laughs> how was how was that like working working with him? Was it a a shoot that you were doing or just hanging out? Uh, so. Me and Joseph at the time had been living in Florida. Um, I moved down there a while back. Just uh, my dad lives down there, so I moved down there a while back. And so um, me and Joseph, we got together and we were like, yo, like some of our friends are only like 45 minutes away. We had, we'd been COVID free. Like we, Mm -hmm. we, I took a test. It was actually the second day that I got down there to Florida. So I had taken a test before I went down to Florida because um, my, I would visit my grandma a lot down there. Um, and I was like, I'm COVID free, you're COVID free, let's go visit these friends, hanging out. Friends happened to be with their manager and he had rented them out a Corvette or oh, a Camaro. So I was just like, boom, 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 boom. We got to shoot on a Camaro with a bunch of our friends. This is an amazing time. We're happy. So, yeah. <laughs> wow, that's happening. awesome. Yeah. That was really fun. Nice. So, so like, that that wasn't even planned. Like, you were just going out there to yeah. hang out with friends in Florida, and yeah. you, you wound up getting a uh, shoot done. <laughs> yeah, I ended up getting, like, three shoots done. <laughs> three? Okay. Yeah. One of them's not busted yet. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. Nice. <laughs> And uh, like a a lot of your like posts are are with like the gym and stuff. So you definitely go to the gym and work work out I a love lot. It. And my stress reliever. <laughs> it's a hundred percent my stress reliever. <laughs> one of one of the friends I I see you you do do like the weight training with a lot is a uh, Chris. Uh, Wilson, Wilson, yeah, right? Chris, Chris Wilson, Wilson, yeah. yeah. yeah so like, like yeah. <laughs> so oh how gosh. how do you how's it like working out with him? Like, what kind of stuff do you and and Chris do when you hit the gym? So Chris is an amazing person to work out with. He has a uh, he has an athletic deal going on with Raw Gear, Bradley Martin's yeah. brand, yeah. and. Uh, he has he has a big following that helps a lot and he's he's basically where i want to be in the next like month or two or how who i want to be tomorrow and so it's just like being with chris he's like one of my closest friends and so Mm -hmm. it's just like we're both very motivational towards each other while lifting and it's just like a back-to-back like screaming at each other in in a very loving way (laughs) <laughs> but it doesn't sound loving if you're videotaping it. <laughs> um, but it's, 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 we get stuff done. We, we will come out of that gym exhausted, but very happy and very, care, very, very, our mind is very free. Oh, when we come yes. to gym. So, yeah. <laughs> well, you're, uh, you and Chris, like your, your, your voices are, are probably sore too, right? <laughs> oh, a hundred percent. Oh, we come with <laughs> We're not talking the rest of the way home. No. <laughs> so just listen to music, bobbing our heads, <laughs> and drinking some like ice cold water because I, our throat's bleeding. But yeah, that's exactly. not <laughs> our throat's sore than the rest of our body, which we were just working out. <laughs> <laughs> so what, when, when you go to the gym to lift and like, do you, do you do like the, pre the pre shake and the post shake yeah and, okay nice nice yeah yeah i mean having that pre workout you got to having that pre workout it's pre workout there's some that's actually really bad for you but that's true <laughs> but there's a lot there's a lot that's there's a lot that that won't affect you unless it's in positive ways so um you just got to find the right one and then that just gives you that extra boost of just adrenaline like 
and just energy and you're just like oh i am ready <laughs> i'm so ready to get going <laughs> like the morning coffee but midday <laughs> Yeah, like the the first time I tried one of those those pre shakes, I because I used to do like pro wrestling, like not the world wrestling entertainment or nothing. Like yeah. I I wish I made it there, but like <laughs> the small smaller leagues, like I was I yeah. was doing doing wrestling around the circuit, and um, I'm one one of the guys, one of the wrestlers, he was like, "Do you ever take a pre workout shake?" Because we were at the gym, we were training for our match. And I was like, no. And then he gave me his pre-workout chick. I was like bouncing off the wall, screaming. Yeah, it'll, get you, it'll get you going. I'm so used to it now. I'm My heart was racing. Up. Yeah, no, if you take too much, your heart's definitely going to feel like it's either slowing down a lot or it's, it's just like. <laughs> but, I mean, for working out, you'll get stuff done. Yeah, exactly. Next time you try it, you got to dry scoop it. Okay. You okay. just got to. Scoop it in there. Don't take some water. Oh, all right. And it'll 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 feel really weird in your mouth at first. Yeah. But like once you do it, you just get this like immediate like after ten seconds, you're just like ho oh, oh, oh. yeah, just like <laughs> ready. Well, yeah, I was dumb when I took like the first one because like I saw it's the first time I ever took like a, a pre shake and I, yeah. I think I, I took like like two or three scoops and i mixed it in water and i like downed it and my heart oh, was I racing like that. real bad and i thought i was gonna yeah. die like i was lifting the weights i was like oh my god i'm gonna i'm gonna pass out <laughs> and die yeah, that's not good mate <laughs> that's not good i know i i learned that the hard way because I, <laughs> I, I i couldn't even go to sleep at night I, I was up all night <laughs> yeah yeah no you gotta be you gotta you do have to be careful when you take that stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, I'm sure it's a lot. It takes a lot for you to actually get act real life harmed, but it, it'll give you a scare if you take a bit too much. Oh, definitely. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I went, after we were done the work, I had to go and do a match with him then and i'm in the ring like screaming and i'm running up and down and the, the people are like what's wrong with this guy <laughs> oh my gosh yeah that would so oh much i would no nah. <laughs> yeah i'm just i just got my earbuds in and i'm just like i mean my brain's going off the walls but yeah i, I gotta keep my body just put it out in weights oh definitely yeah yeah so the art are you on any special like um diet plan because i i know you you go to the gym all the time and working out so uh, like yeah are you on a uh, diet too i mean i do my cutting and my bulking but mm -hmm. so far as diet goes i mean it's not like a day-to-day -day, like eat straight vegetables or yeah. like, this day eat just chicken or something like that. but no <laughs> it's more like it's more like <laughs> i read What's on the back on the supplement on the oh, what's it called supplement chart or whatever it's called on the back of foods and I'm just like yeah yeah exactly I'm just like okay this has a good amount of healthy calories has some bad ones but you know well <laughs> sometimes you avoid those <laughs> but uh, as long as it doesn't have that many like terrible ingredients and it likes it there's there's a voice in the back of your mind that usually tells you a food will look good, but you know it's bad for you and <laughs> you'll still eat it. I'm trying to train that voice to just be like, yeah, don't eat it. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> and I don't eat it. And so, I mean, if it's, if it's healthy for me and it gives me a good calorie intake, then, oh, and if it has protein, then I'll eat it. And it's just like, okay. yeah. Nice. Just, I, I'm not, I just don't, I don't really, I got blessed to not really like sweets that much. So Oh nice. Nice. Yeah. I was I was blessed to like get that, but um yeah. It's just <laughs> just gotta stay stay a little healthy. There you go. Snack here and there, but <laughs> <laughs> now like do you do you ever do like those like those like plant based diets? Like I, I tried that like keto? Uh, yeah, something yeah, like yeah, like any kind of like plant plant based diet. Like, yeah. I I gotta I gotta eat a steak at least like once a week. I'm in love with it. <laughs> steak and chicken is so good. It is. It's definitely it is. 
<laughs> and I'm just like, I mean, if I need to get lean, then I'll just buy lean steak. Yeah. It's just a lean chicken. So. Well, 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 yeah, of course. It's just like, I, I do love veggies, but, and I eat them a lot. It's just like, I don't want to remove the other protein from, from my diet. So <laughs> I'll, I'll just eat them both. I'll even it out. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> now, when you're at the gym, is there, is there any, like, is there any part of your body you, you dread, like, going to the gym for like for me it's legs i hate doing legs <laughs> legs do suck <laughs> so for me i actually i actually don't work out core that much um i really should start <laughs> but <laughs> i don't work out core that much because it's just like every single lift i do i'll clench my stomach mm -hmm. and so that's my core workout because i'm just doing it the whole the whole time and so I won't work on core individually at the gym because okay. after I do, I'll feel it no matter what, if I'm just doing that. But like, if I do a regular core day, oh my gosh, I, the next day it's just like, that's oh, a whole different story. <laughs> I don't really need to because I, I like, I, I work out for aesthetics and strength. Um, and I was, I had, I was born with good genetics in my stomach area. So oh, good. I had to good. Um, but also shoulders. I hate, I, I hate working off shoulders. I don't know why. It's just like, I don't really feel like I need to. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel like if I'm doing arms, I'll get a little <laughs> shoulder pump in anyways. Yeah, yeah. So, shoulder, working off shoulders hurts. <laughs> but it does, doesn't it? Though? I still do it. Yeah. I still do it. My friends <laughs> make me do it at least like twice a week. So I'm just like, okay, fine. Okay. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> And if you're not doing it, they're gonna scream at you at the gym, right? Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, they'll they'll make me cry. <laughs> they'll make me go to mama. <laughs> I'll be crying for the next two nights because my friends diss me so hard. Yeah, yeah, Love exactly. my friends, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they're good guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. What do you like doing for fun when 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 you're not making videos or doing shoots? I like working out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I like working out a lot, and uh, I know that makes me sound like a complete jock, but I do <laughs> I do like working out. Um, and uh, also, I mean, you know hanging out with my old friends. I'm back home now in DC, so I gotta spend as much time as I can with them before I make the next steps in my life mm -hmm. uh, like a reality because I know that that's gonna take me into different cities and moving a lot. And so um, I definitely like hanging out with my boys um, and chilling with my family. I, I'm, a, I'm a big believer in family's number one. Right. And so, uh, so yeah, I mean, I love the gym. I love my family. I love my friends, and yeah, that's that's about it. Nice man, nice. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, do you have yeah. any hidden talents that like your fans might not know about? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> I can sing. I can sing. Uh, that's but. A lot of people know that because that's how I blew up off. But like every live I do on Inst on TikTok or Instagram, I like tell people I can sing. They're like, "What?" And I was just like, "How do you guys not know that?" <laughs> that's what gave me the TikTok boost. But okay. <laughs> um, I other hidden talents. I'm really good at basketball and football. Actually, basketball scratch that off. I'm good at football. Basketball, I'm decent at. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, I. Hmm, I used to be able to draw. Can't really anymore. I oh, wish really? I could. It's one of those talents you got to keep up. Oh, uh, yeah, that's yeah, true. Can't, can't do that anymore. Um, but yeah, no, that's basically, that's basically wraps it up. Okay. Okay. 
And yeah. uh, <laughs> and what kind of of songs do you like listening to? Like what's on your iPod or playlist or? Yeah, so I'm a. I really like R and B. Okay. Rap. I can listen to a little. I'm a. I'm a very. I have a wide variety of music that I listen to, but um, the main ones are R and B and rap, and then. Uh, I like, but I like old rap a lot more than I like new rap. So like, old rap that my brother introduced me to, and my sisters introduced me to. Nice, nice. Yeah. Now, now, what about when you're at the gym? Like, what music do you like? I, I, like at the gym, you have to oh. listen to something heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's it's straight up. It's it's either hard. It's either like BDM, EDM with like major beat drops or yeah. rap that just like makes you just like super angry <laughs> it's just like <laughs> i I've, I've realized that like a go a good go-to a few good go-to artists are like m and m in the gym nice. you can never go with that nice. or like if you listen to like some old like 50 cent or like old Hmm. You could listen to some old Wayne. The old Lil Wayne's really good, but he has a lot of different varieties of rap. But there's a few songs in there that's good for working out. Okay, like yeah. for for me when I when do do like weights and going into gym and all that. Like uh, I love listening to like heavy heavy rock. Like yeah. Marilyn Manson and Slipknot and stuff like that. <laughs> I, I haven't gotten into that stage quite yet. I feel like my music, my music taste has to mature a lot before I step into that area. But okay. Yeah, I've I've listened to I've listened to Marilyn Marilyn Manson. He was the he's like the king of darkness, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they uh, like yeah. I, I mean, there's there's a lot of rock. Of rock guys that are like claimed to be the king of darkness between like Manson and Alex Cooper, Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne, I think he's he's number one. Yeah, that. yeah, definitely, definitely. He's on Ozzy. Ozzy, I've listened to more than the rest of those guys, but it's uh, it's, it's mostly because he wrote this song with Post Malone that just blew my mind away. It was so good. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. Ozzy, he's he's funny. Like, the, did you ever watch like any of his those like television shows that he does with like his son and his wife? Oh my god, he's so he's so funny. Yeah, <laughs> I should. I should. <laughs> is there is there any uh, television series you're you're currently binge watching, like on Netflix or whatever? Yeah, so actually, I binge watch a lot of television series. I just finished up. Uh, Altered Carbon. It's a new series on Netflix. Um, but the reason I binge watch so many is because I'm trying to like get a feel mm -hmm. for while I'm watching it. I kind of like take in how to act that scene, like every single scene out, nice. or not every single scene. That would take years, but like a lot of the scenes out because I want to like that's 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 what I want my life to be. You can't you can't get somewhere without studying it and. That's true. Um, just trying to master it. And so I uh, just finished Altered Carbon. Um, I'd started on my block a long time ago, and now I'm, I'm rewatching it. But I believe my favorite Netflix series ever, I never, I never actually watched. I'm going to get so much hate for this, but I never, I, ne I never really watched um, Stranger Things. Really? Okay. Or, or Outer Banks. You know, I still people haven't seen I that could, yet either. People Albert, said that Outer I could Banks, fit in I... Outer Banks. They're like, "Yo, why would you watch it? Like, you would, you would like, you would be so such a good actor in that like TV series." I was just like, "Listen, those two shows I've heard so much about mm -hmm. that I don't mm -hmm. even need to watch it anymore. I know the whole storyline. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like." I've heard so much. <laughs> it's, it's so mainstream that I just don't need to watch it anymore. And so, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. 
Um, my favorite Netflix series was probably Altered Carbon was really good. But also, I think, but I think my favorite one I've ever watched was Money Heist. Oh, yeah. Okay, nice. nice. Money Heist really good. Yeah. And it's really confusing, though, because, but not really confusing, but um, it was actually filmed, I believe, in Spain. And oh, so yeah. it's in a different language, but they got subtitles and like English voices over it. So, yeah, it was, it was, it was a really fun watch. Sweet, sweet. Yeah. And like my, my, my show and site deals a lot with like horror films. And uh, I always ask, ask the guests like if they like horror and if they do, what are some horror films that you like? <laughs> I, I'm gonna give you an example of what happens like when somebody when I, if I'm with my friends and they ask me to watch a horror film I'm just like my mom just called me I just got sick real fast <laughs> I just, and in my mind it's just like if I watch this near them they will be making fun of me for three months solid three months it'll just not drop over that time period so <laughs> but no there's a few that i have watched with my friends where it was fine i stay away from the actual horror ones but like um <laughs> i don't even think i can call this horror at all i mean i watched both the goosebumps <laughs> well i mean and then I it, watched, is, it is hard those were really funny to me. Yeah. <laughs> Those are hilarious. And then I watched uh, The Babysitter, I believe. Is yes, it? yes, yes. That one was good. And then um, one that I remember I got so terrified. The, the Chucky series didn't terrify me at all. Well, yeah, it's that, funny. That, it's funny. Yeah, Chucky, they're, they're, you know they're fine. It's just <laughs> like, it's just a little doll. Dolls freak me out now, but yeah. it was just a little doll. Yeah, he's a little doll, like, real, tries to kill you and curse you out. Me, yeah, I just kept on reminding myself, like, if this was real world, <laughs> mm -hmm. I would just, like, throw the thing. <laughs> I would just, I, I kept on reminding myself, I was just like, I'm way too big for that doll to harm me. I'm way too big. <laughs> but, nah. Um, <laughs> one that did terrify me was, uh, I... I'm, this was like three years ago, but it was these people had just moved into a new house. Like every horror movie starts off. Of course. Of course. <laughs> um, but uh, I remember this one scene where he was running away from the dude. I think the dude was wearing some kind of pillow bag like over his head. Oh, okay. Like and he was running away from the dude and the dude took out his contacts by the river so he couldn't see like the the bad the bad guy he took out his mm -hmm. contacts just it, that was the most gruesome i don't know why it was so gruesome he was like just taking out his contacts but i was just like <laughs> and i wear contacts oh okay. <laughs> so i don't know why it seems so gruesome to me but he literally just like he was just holding the kid down and took down his contacts and i was just like that's so scary <laughs> But um, I can't tell you the movie through the name of that movie. Um, you know, there, but all in all, to answer your question, some of the horror movies I like are um, Goosebumps is hilarious. Mm -hmm. the, what did I just say? <laughs> the Chucky series was fine. Yeah. Um, wasn't there one called the Bye Bye Man or something? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. That, yep. That's what it was called. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one was that one was good. Um, and then uh, if we go off topic to ones that I'll never watch, you'll never catch me watching any of the what's it called? In in sin in uh, insid insidious. Yeah, no, no. Those are those are way over. The, if you if you even say that name to me, I'm just like going upstairs. I'm just like, yeah, sorry guys. I'm gonna go grab a soda, and uh, and watch sports. <laughs> uh, I'll watch I'll watch news. I'll watch news before I watch that. Okay. Um, but yeah, yeah, no. 
there's a few that I'm just like, you're good. You guys are crazy. I'm eating sad. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. What about what about gaming? Is there any video game you like playing the most? It's gonna make me sound like such a jock. Um, I actually no. I have a good reason for this. My mom never let me have a console. Okay. Or anything, okay. Growing up until about three months ago and now i'm just over the now i'm just like what well, things are happening too quickly i don't have any time to play video games well yeah of course so, yeah like it's just like i never really got into any besides the time when my brother bought his own xbox i wasn't really allowed on it because you know older brothers don't let you touch the things that's true but <laughs> but um it was just like my brother bought his own xbox don't know how he got the money. Probably was working, but I was just like, "How did you buy an Xbox?" <laughs> right, exactly. Dude. So Very expensive. And now, now, like now, now I'm here. Just like, I mean, you know, once you have a job, like three hundred dollars, if you like save up a few weeks, it's just like three hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. but like, it, especially where I'm at, where I'm just like, I'm still a kid. I'm I'm paying paying like for a lot in my life but it's just like i have the freedom since i have my own money to do like buy what i want so well yeah of course so, um and i'm i got i got the grace to, to where my mom hasn't kicked me out yet even though <laughs> i'm sure i'm a pain in the butt for her but um <laughs> love you mom uh uh but it's just like Anyways, I got I got carried away there, but um, yeah, no, I the only game I ever uh, really got into was COD. I love Call of Duty. Okay, it's just like, that's that's that was the only game that was like, hey, do you want to come play this game where you get to shoot guns? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, <laughs> like, like as a young boy for me, like. <laughs> like guns were cool like i had a dream i, I aspired to be a marine when i was a little boy but, oh wow uh, yeah i i really wanted to it's still a thought in the back of my mind if all this doesn't work out but yeah um, yeah and so i was just like i was just like this is my this is my time this is my they're like they're scouting me from like a distance behind the screen they <laughs> they're seeing how good i am at this i was just like let's do it <laughs> and but <laughs> Uh yeah no I I was really into Call of Duty for for a few years I'll still play it with my friends if they ask me to, and then Madden there was a stage in my life where I yes, liked Madden yes. and uh I I just I kind of skipped over the two K NHL mm -hmm, MLS mm -hmm. or uh, what well, well, it's not called MLS it's called uh, FIFA, um but I kind of skipped over those because it was just like even though I love basketball like. I feel like that game wasn't as popular at that time okay. in my, at that Xbox. So it's just like Madden and uh, Call of Duty. Sweet. And then Sweet. he had this one game on there that was called like Raven Sword or something, I think. Oh, okay. It might have been a mobile game that he let me play on his phone, but I got really <laughs> That was sick. <laughs> that game was so cool. It was like, <laughs> that game was so fun. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> but yeah, those are the video games that I that I appreciate. Nice man, nice. Yeah. And uh, where can fans find find you at? Like, with with your pages, socials, and all that. So you guys can find me at at Petey uh, on TikTok, Peter Twetton on Instagram, Peter Twetton on Snapchat, and stay tuned because I'll be making YouTube soon. That'll probably just be Peter Twetton as well. Sweet man, nice. All, yeah. right, all right, but thanks, thanks so much for for course, being so a guest on the show. Me. It was really fun, man. It, it was amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> of course, buddy. <laughs> all right, have an amazing day, mate. All right, man. You too. Have a good one. All right.